The mobile app is for students to use to complete forms where access to other equipment is difficult. The mobile app allows you to complete forms offline, without needing a connection to the internet. When accessing the mobile app for the first time, you will need to enter a service code, which you will receive from your university during training. After entering the service code, select the sign in button. You will need to be online to do this step. This is an example of a sign in page. Each university sign in page will look a little different. On the sign in page, click on the university sign in button and use your university credentials to sign in. When you access the mobile app, you will have the same forms available to you to complete as you would in the website version of the ePad. However, your full ePad is only available via the website. And at the top of the page, there is the current or most recent placement provider panel together with the placement practice hours dial. The forms are grouped under the part. Select the part to expand the section, which will reveal the forms you can complete for your placement. These are found in the folders for start, midpoint, final, anytime and part specific. To access a form, select the folder it sits in, and the forms in that folder are displayed. In this example, in the start folder, you can see the forms for placement orientation, nominated person, initial interview, and the practice assessor and supervisor allocation forms. To work on a form select the form from the list. And if required, you can hand your device to your practice assessor or practice supervisor to complete the form. Your practice supervisor or assessor can type in their answers, or they can use voice to text by selecting the microphone icon and speaking into the device. It is possible to save multiple drafts of a form. To save the form as a draft, select the form options icon. Then select save and close. The number of in-progress items is displayed on the in-progress icon at the bottom of the page. To continue working on a form, select the in-progress icon at the bottom of the page. The form will be available in the drafts section. Select the form from the drafts page to continue working on it. If the form requires sign-off from a practice staff member, they must enter their full name and work email address in the sign-off section. Always check through a form before submitting it, as it cannot be changed afterwards. When you are happy with the form, select the Submit button, and then OK to confirm. The practice staff member who signed off the form will automatically be sent an email receipt to say that they have approved this form on this date and time. The email will also contain a link to the form that has been completed, and details for them to get in touch with the university if they have any concerns. If you have submitted the form while working offline, you will see a message and the form will be saved to the ready to sync folder. The number of in-progress items is updated on the in-progress icon at the bottom of the page. Select the in-progress icon at the bottom of the page to view the items that are in the ready to sync folder. When you return online, the app will automatically sync, or you can perform the action manually to sync with your ePad website. To manually sync your forms, Select the sync button at the top right of the ready to sync page. It is important to check that the app is syncing to your ePad website so that your submitted forms can be viewed. Submitted forms are not stored within the app, so go to the ePad website to view your documentation. However, the app will show the status of forms, for example, the number of submissions, or as completed. Within the app, you can also record your practice hours, where this has been enabled by your institution. Select the practice hours icon at the bottom of the page. This will open the submit practice hours form. You can select the placement provider, placement area, and the activity type. 
To select the week for your practice hours entry use the chevron buttons. And for the duration of those practice hours use the plus and minus buttons. As you select the buttons, you will see the total of the duration for the selected date. Then hand your device to the practice staff member to approve your practice hours. The approved by drop-down is available if the person is one of your allocated practice supervisors or assessor. Alternatively, the practice staff member can type their full name and work email address into the approver name and email fields. Always check your hours entries before submitting, as you cannot change them afterwards. When you are happy with the hours entries, select the submit button. If you have submitted the hours while working offline, you will see a message and the hours will be saved to the Redditor-Sync folder. And the number of in-progress items is updated on the in-progress icon at the bottom of the page. Access the settings menu from the settings icon at the bottom of the page. Here, you have the option to open the ePad website on your device, so you can view all your progress. Under personal settings, you can select Remember Me for the app to remember your login details, which is important if you want to use it offline. You can also select to sync only over a Wi-Fi connection. If your ePad supports multiple languages, you can switch between the languages under the Change Language section. Finally, if you do wish to sign out, select the Sign Out button at the bottom of the Settings menu.